Previously on Rental Reviews, Psycho Stick Edition, Part 1, we were talking Anonymous Rex, and now we're thinking, let's talk some more Anonymous Rex. Yeah! yeah. No, 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 never no, 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 no. What? What are we doing? More we're dinos? About airplane. Oh, airplane. Yeah. Airplane. No dinos? No dinos. Right. I'm out here. Yeah. 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 Go and get what? Yeah. Uh, I get. mean, I love airplane, but it's no anonymous Rex. So, <laughs> thank goodness. airplane. Thank goodness. We upgraded. <laughs> oh, right. Well, you know what? Airplane's a great choice. Airplane's a comedy from 1980, but just to give a, like, a little bit of context here, this was like one of the funniest movies. Like when this came out, this was like outrageous. It was, I mean, yeah, it was, I think it was really ahead of its time in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. um, and, and this style, the slapsticky style, mm -hmm. was Slapstick. so distinct. Yeah. And it kind of went away, I think, after... Mm -hmm. There was a slapstick um, era yeah. of, of these movies. Like there these... was uh, Animal House, Airplane, Caddyshack, and like these movies were at the front of like a whole genre of comedy. Yeah. So Be before Naked Gun, mm -hmm. before the, the scary movie franchise took yeah. off. And, and yeah, yeah, and and, mm -hmm. uh, and and then it kind of just died. It went away. Yeah. Uh, and then there's there's remnants of it here and there. I mean, mm -hmm. obviously you can go on YouTube and type in slapstick, and you'll find some mm -hmm. amateur stuff. But and, and it's probably mm -hmm. great in its own way. The but, improv era of yeah. comedy oh, yeah. really took over after that. Yeah, and uh, yeah. and so the, this. Air, airplane, Airplane 2, Naked Gun, mm -hmm. in a lot of ways inspired mm -hmm. uh, Josh and I to start Psycho Stick because we were watching The Simpsons, we were watching these slapstick movies, and it, it just became who we were and still are, I guess. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, I really wanted to do this movie because it was it's mm -hmm. very... If yeah, you yeah. haven't seen Airplane, go watch it. Yeah. Anything <laughs> Leslie Nielsen. It's like, yeah, yeah. It's like everyone's grandpa a, of comedy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah exactly, him. yeah. He's Uncle a comedy Les. grandpa. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. He's yeah. comedy Uncle Les, the grandpa. Yeah, and this was yeah. his first comedy, I believe. Um, oh, I'm really? not sure, but or or it may have at least uh, if it wasn't his first comedy, it was the first one that got him like known for comedy. Because right. then then he went on to do the Police Squad series and the Naked Gun trilogy. Yeah. Um, yeah. So Leslie Nielsen became the funny guy after this. And what makes him so funny <laughs> is that he plays the part so straight. Like he doesn't know he's in a comedy. That, well, I think that, that is that is his, kind of his mm. mo, so yeah, to speak. Yeah. Like he he everything he does, <laughs> the Naked Gun, like he. You don't see him laugh ever, mm. but he's like very, he delivers his lines impeccably, yeah, yeah. and they're the m funniest lines, yeah. and you can't keep a straight his, face, but he's yeah, just yeah. stern. His, uh -huh. his, career, <laughs> his career before the slapstick stuff, I think, was mostly like serious dramas and like mm -hmm. like soap opera stuff, yeah. where it was very... It was very stern and mm. and and, and <laughs> for demanding, and, de yeah. and yeah. his delivery of the lines are always so serious mm -hmm. and, and authoritative mm -hmm. in most of his yeah, roles. Though, like, you trust what he's gonna do. <laughs> yeah, you know, I can't picture him in a serious role. I'm I'm sorry, I just can't. I haven't <laughs> I haven't never seen him yeah, in yeah, a serious yeah. role. So yeah, if you've yeah. seen Forbidden Planet, it's like it, it's you. It's hard to t tell yourself that's Leslie Nielsen. You know, <laughs> it, he's been doing movies for decades and decades before. You know, this comedy career of his uh, kicked off. This woman has to be gotten to a hospital. A hospital? What is it? It's a big building with patients, but that's not important right now. That quick delivery yeah. really, really made that timeline too. Mm -hmm. that, that that style of film where yeah. they just tried to jam pack it in yeah, as much yeah. as as much as they could with the comedy yeah. that really wasn't seen again until uh -huh. things like Simpsons and Futurama late, sure. late in the eighties mm -hmm. that really came back. My favorite, well, some of my favorite parts of those going. movies, and they 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 would. Set up, and then you could tell the setups are really elaborate, but they're for a split second, mm. and they <laughs> but yeah. they put in all of the work to make sure it delivers correctly. Yeah, uh, an and hour, like an hour worth of setup. Yeah, yeah. For three like, second joke. There's yeah. like background jokes, and there's jokes you don't pick up on the first time. Mm -hmm. They destroy an entire set for mm. like a two, two, maybe mm -hmm. twenty second gag. Hey, Larry, where's the forklift? Forklift, it's over there by the baggage loader. The plane crashing through yeah, through yeah. the terminal, yeah. and then there's like jokes where I don't even know if it's supposed to be a joke, or it's like, wait, what the hell was that? Or like, <laughs> where he's like, he's smoking a cigarette and he throws out the window, and then something explodes, and you're like, what the fuck? It's, like, like, it's a very dangerous uh, environment, like, like you know, yeah, and it doesn't make sense, and you, but yeah. it makes it funnier because you're like that. But what? And then it, yeah. it's even funnier the more you think about <laughs> The it, replay so. value on this movie alone is worth it. Because yeah, you're going to yeah. find something else that you missed uh -huh. the first time because you were laughing so hard. Yeah, exactly.
Yeah. And I think it's also one of the first, like, big spoof movies because, I mean, sure, there's been spoofs and stuff, but, like, this was, like, it went full on with, uh, which I don't think you need to see it for it to be funny, but uh, Zero Hour and um, Airport were movies that it was, like, specifically... Uh, being a yeah, it's basically like a the disaster genre. So so the plot of the movie if you if you explain the plot It would not sound funny because it's about a crisis on a plane There's basically yeah. like a food poisoning and the mm-hmm. pilot gets uh, goes unconscious the co-pilot goes unconscious and then they this guy who has this um, history is bad history he's, he's with got flying. PTSD yeah, yeah. from from the war, yeah. and he can't go near a plane, but yeah. he's on this flight. Cause yeah, yeah. Because he, you know, he's romantically involved with the stewardess. Mm-hmm. He's trying to get her back. So he's like, "I'm going to get on this plane. I'm going to win her back." And then he has to take over. And it's, yeah, it's, and he has to land the plane somehow. And so it it does not sound like a comedy no. when you describe it. But th- th- this is the kind of movie you just have to talk about every funny moment. There's no other way to like. There's so like, many of them. We'd yeah. be here all day. Yeah. There's, there's kids <clears throat> drinking coffee. There's violent mm. nuns. There's yeah. well, I mean, <laughs> yeah. jive talking old ladies. Yeah, like, and then there's some jokes that wouldn't fly nowadays. Mm. There's a lot of jokes that wouldn't yeah, fly. Yeah, like the thing about the, the pilot where he's like, You ever been in a cockpit before? No, sir, I've never been up in a plane before. Have you ever seen a grown man naked? What the fuck was that? Like that would just never like. You've like, been in a Turkish you're prison. Like, yeah, you've like, ever been in a Turkish and, prison. And you're just like questioning, like, well, what the hell was that about? Like, well, why, why did he say that? And then, and then it cuts almost, to something else. It, yeah. it doesn't elaborate at you know, all. With that joke, you know, my criticism is like, I feel like um, they could have said they could have used the more subtle jokes first. Like if he said, you ever watch gladiator films? Like you know that type of stuff. Yeah. And could, because he says a lot of jokes after this, but the jokes get more and more subtle. What if it started where it was subtle and then he just hits you with the point blank one? You know, it's like, I, I'm just curious, like, if you were to see, like, erase your brain, you know, see the movie again and mm-hmm. see it uh, with the jokes in the reverse order, yeah. would it be funnier? Yeah, you know, um, it might be. Mm. There's a good chance, like, the, the, the here's in a grown man naked might be mm. like the, the disgusting punchline. That, mm. that none of us really wanted. This was the first movie ever, because I, I watched this when I was a young kid, so a lot of this was mm-hmm. like yeah. really inappropriate for me to see then, <laughs> and that just made it funnier because it was so like just outrageous. Like, what the hell is this? Um, like, like the scene where the whole plane is panicking, and then a woman jumps in front of the camera with bare breasts, Full frontal. <laughs> like for like one second, you're like, "What was that?" And like, 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 my, my dad would have to like cover my eyes, but he wasn't even fast, fast enough because it, the jokes go so quick. And like, <laughs> the part that blew my mind as a kid, just completely blew my mind, was when the shit hits the fan. Literally, Literally. dude. The first time I saw that, when I, when I first saw that movie, I was laughing so hard, yeah. I had to pause it. I was just wiping fluids from my face because I was laughing so hard. Kramer hears about this, the shit's gonna hit the fan. <laughs> and, it's, and, it's, and, it's, and it's the dude from Unsolved Mysteries. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's the, he plays Super serious in a what? hilarious comedy. He beats like, up he, everybody in the airport as he's walking. He's going in. into the airport to get to the tower, <laughs> and all these religious people are like, "What's a flower of consciousness or whatever?" And okay. like, he starts punching them, yeah. fighting. That was <laughs> another. Like that was another scene stuff. I had to pause it because. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> he's fighting yeah. his way through the airport. <laughs> from all he, these... does it, he does it like he he has to do this every day. Too. <laughs> Just so nonchalantly <laughs> assaulting everybody that talks to him. Oh, man. What I love about that is that they took time to choreograph that. Fight scene. Yeah, yeah. With, and it doesn't cut away. It's, it's yeah, yeah. continuous. That's yeah. really him, too. Mm. It does the, the whole like, hip toss. He does, and everything. He he does a little flip around the guy. And wow. <laughs> one of my oh, favorite scenes. So good. Yeah. Uh, and this, this might be one of my favorite scenes ever in movie history is the flashback where he's talking about when he first met the, the stewardess. Yeah. And basically, it, so it goes back into this like dance scene. Well, no, it, it's, it's, like, it's, it's spoofing it's, Saturday Night Fever. Yeah, exactly. So it's got this staying alive and, but. It starts as a fight scene, and then it turns into a dance scene, and... <laughs> the, 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 the two little Girl Scouts fighting yeah, yeah. was amazing, because... Which you can tell are two uh, guys during the stunts, like, they're just... <laughs> I actually dressed couldn't tell as Girl that. Scouts. I couldn't tell that. I, of course, I was just, just probably laughing. Well, it's, yeah, it's a flashback to his military years when he's stationed in Drambuie, <laughs> <laughs> which is alcohol. <laughs> and they're they're going out on a bombing yeah, run either. to bomb daiquiri. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, but yeah, like that whole that whole scene was was hysterical. Yeah. Like it was just 
It's one of the from the start to finish, mm-hmm. like yeah, when they, they start feel, dancing, the yeah, old yeah. guys are like, yeah, yeah, trying I, to dance. They start dancing. <laughs> the, one the guy, guy who's leaning on the jukebox, and then when the girl gets slammed like head first in the jukebox, and then the music comes on, and then he just kind of takes his time and kind of just decides he wants to dance. And then once he does, it's kind of just like it's no rhythm or anything whatsoever. It's just, <laughs> it just like kind of starts flailing yeah. body parts really abruptly. Yeah, yeah. There's and another, then there's a guy with the no, knife in his back. He's and got a knife he, in his back. <laughs> I was dying. When he's, <laughs> and then he's like, she's the like, girls oh, dancing. Like, I can dance like that too. Know? And then we're in the voiceover when he's like saying like, oh, I, I, I couldn't even tell if it was a dream or it was a real. I had to ask the guy next to me to pinch me. And then you see him like, like mask on the next to him. And then the guy's just like, huh? Slowly like, walks away. Like, oh, this guy's weird. Oh, yeah. man. It's just the... Yeah, it's, oh. the they non-stop s- jokes even mm-hmm. the bad ones like there there there's mm. some they don't yeah, they're not all zingers there's but. clunkers but even then it, sometimes they're funny because they're so bad there's a lot of dirty jokes in it too that that really just kind of yeah, this was slip like, right by was, well, what did she say when she's like this is a dirty comedy remember like, like, like i mean back then this pushed <laughs> the boundaries remember when we used to stay up and talk all night remember when i used to sit on your face and wail <laughs> See, I didn't even catch that one. Like, it's like there's so many jokes in this. But that... she has this cute little mousy voice, and she's like, "Remember, Dad, when I used to sit on your face and wiggle." <laughs> it's such a heartfelt moment. Like, They're really what? bonding wait, over these wait, What? Because you don't expect her to say that. Because she's right so over, sweet, and nice, and innocent, and pure. But yeah. she's just like, "I used to sit on your face." And then there's a, <laughs> the guy who has a drinking problem. He's got a drinking problem. He just keeps hitting himself in the face. With it. He's like trying to put it in his ear. And... <laughs> that simple joke is. You don't jokes don't have to be complicated and have the perfect setup. Sometimes it's mm-hmm. just a guy putting water yeah. in his face because he can't. He has a drinking problem. Mm-hmm. One, one of my favorite lines from the whole movie is delivered with just deadpan seriousness mm-hmm. from the the unsolved mysteries guy. Mm-hmm. He's trying to talk him down on the plane, mm-hmm. how to land the plane. He goes, "Flying a plane is just like riding a bike. Only mm-hmm. it's way it's much more difficult to put the baseball cards in the wheels than the <laughs> spokes of the wheels." <laughs> This lousy job. I like what he, what he, what he. It's a good thing like, he doesn't know how much I hate his guts. It's a good thing he doesn't know how yeah. much you hate his guts. <laughs> but when he's like, when he first shows up, he's like, oh, he's, he's, this is, he's not going to make this. He's going to screw mm. all this up. He's a terrible pilot, but he still has the thing on. And he's still, <laughs> There's no way he's going to land this plane. He's, he's useless. He's going to murder all these people. <laughs> might as well crash it. Might yeah. as well land him in the in the lake, <laughs> avoid any innocent deaths. And the, the co-pilot, played by Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Is named uh, <laughs> is named Roger. Roger Murdoch. And then uh, Roger Kid. Yeah, Roger, Roger. And then the, the pilot's name is Over. <laughs> and they're just like, Roger, over what? What? Uh, huh? Huh? <laughs> Roger. Roger. Huh? huh? <laughs> Roger. Huh? Uh, and then the and then, you know, obviously the second movie, um, which we won't get too far into, mm-hmm. just kind of takes the just takes everything and turns it up even more. Mm-hmm. And in the second movie, I think, is just as funny, if not mm-hmm. funnier than the first one. So watch it's been a while since I've seen it. So yeah. Yeah. Different, di- bit different cast too, mm-hmm. but yeah, they're that, mostly there. William Shatner's in it. Yeah, with the the beeping uh, sounds, he gets really annoyed. Everything's always beeping and buzzing and beeping and buzzing. <laughs> yeah, because I was like, I watched that. it recent and I was a little bit concerned. Like, is this going to hold up still? And it's just like, oh my god, like it just. You get to a pace in it where it's like it's so funny where you just are waiting for the next joke because you know it's coming. You just know mm-hmm. something is coming. You don't know what it's going to be. Nothing serious. Like, if it sounds serious, it's just a setup to something else. Yeah, it's just random. exactly. Yeah, yeah. There are a few jokes mm-hmm. that kind of flop now because mm-hmm. they were so contemporary at that time mm-hmm. of the people that they were talking about. A little bit younger crowd. Kids probably don't really realize who Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is. Mm-hmm. Uh, people don't realize who yeah. Ethel Merman is. Oh yeah, Ethel Merman. Yeah, Ethel Merman has a little, yeah, yeah. little music scene in it. I had yeah. no idea who she is, to be honest. Yeah. I'm guessing she's a she's singer. in. Yeah, she's in my favorite film. Uh, it's a Mad, 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 Mad World. Mm-hmm. Um, nice. But the kid, no, the kid in the movie knows who Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is, and he keeps talking to him like he's his real self. <laughs> and he's like, I don't know what you're talking well, I don't about, know what kid. You're talking about. But then he starts like trashing his like basketball career or he's something. Like, and he's my dad like, says you're lazy or something. Yeah, you're you're really bad on defense or something. Then he grabs he's, the kid. He's like, yeah, he's listen, like, kid. Listen, kid. <laughs> I'm out there busting my yeah. ass, running up and down that court. Yeah. You tell, you tell your old man to drag Walter Payton up yeah, and down yeah. the court for 48 minutes. <laughs> Oh. And then he still got his like his like knee pads and everything on, like when when the, <laughs> when he crew, passes out, they yeah, pull him yeah. out. he's in his full basketball <laughs> exactly. uniform, with, like glasses and everything. <laughs> oh, then there's the 
the shot where the the, um, the guy who has to fl land the plane goes into the cockpit and he looks at the dials and there's this long panning shot of all the dials of <laughs> the plane and it just going. goes on and on and it's like on. 30 feet of battles. <laughs> yeah. Reminiscent. Did, did you did you catch the joke when he's like, okay, pitch, uh, uh, is whatever, and like other oh, airplane was like tumble dry, he's like reading off of <laughs> yeah, a dryer, yeah. uh -huh. <laughs> tumble dry, <Yeah. laughs> uh, uh, what's, I don't know, high, low, uh, yeah. tumble dry, <laughs> tumble dry. Then, then there's one he's telling the the story um, to the, uh, the, the the lady who's sitting next to him, and um, he. He goes into the flashback, or whatever. And then he comes out of it, and she's been listening to the story the whole time. And all you see is like <laughs> her legs dangling in the air. She, she, killed just, herself. she, she hung herself. herself in a plane. Like, so how are you gonna? Dark. Well, first the old lady, the old lady, hangs herself listening to his boring story. Yeah, yeah. Then the Japanese general commits seppuku. <laughs> oh my to god! Him. <laughs> <laughs> and the third guy's about to set himself on fire, oh and the stewardess ushers him up front. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. It's one of those things. If you had a time machine and go back and like be on the set while yeah. making this movie, they probably had so much fun. It just looks like a blast, and yeah, and uh, it's just it's very inspirational. I think a lot of <clears throat> like The Simpsons is another one where Simpsons is a show where you can watch an episode, one episode, ten times, and every time you'll catch something new. And I think mm -hmm. that's kind of Airplane set the stage for something yeah, and stuff yeah. like that too. So yeah, that's a, a lot of those one. things are kind of like. Was it funny on set? Like maybe maybe it was. Maybe it was like really tough to throw that turd into the fan. Like it didn't it didn't <laughs> land the right way. And imagine explaining Ooh, the idea. Tough. Like imagine just pitching that idea, being like, okay, so in this shot, we have to throw this turd into the fan, or mm -hmm. like whatever they're explaining. Like because some of the things are so ridiculous that <laughs> it's like, could you imagine just directing that scene to? All right, here's the sh the shit in the fan scene. Everybody set up for the shot. <laughs> The yeah. camera, the angle, just right. And then there's the guy who's like, um, he's, he's like, oh, I, I picked a wrong uh, week to quit drinking. And then it comes back to me. He's like, well, I quit to, uh, the I picked wrong the wrong week to quit smoking. Yeah. That's... And then it gets worse. But then he's like sniffing glue. By the end of it. It, it, doing it's amphetamines. Like, yeah. <laughs> wrong week to quit taking amphetamines. <laughs> He's like it's upside like, down and like his, his hair is going all the over. glue. The glue is uh, that oh. was Lloyd Bridges. Now is Lloyd yeah, yeah. Bridges Jeff Bridges' father or oh I don't something? know are they related? But I think he is. Um, see, Leslie Nielsen went on to Naked Gun and Lloyd Bridges went on to uh, to Hot Shots. He was like, right. Yeah. He was yeah. like the general in Hot Shots. Oh, they were both shots. in Mafia together as well. Mm. Oh really? Oh no no Leslie Nielsen. I don't think he was in Mafia. Mm. But Lloyd Bridges was the the Godfather. Mm. Mafia is a is the naked gun of mafia movies, I guess. Yeah, they mm. pretty much spoofing took, Godfather. They, they take the movies. piss out of Godfather. Yeah, and yeah. And it's amazing. Sopranos. I saw that in the I saw that in theater when it came out. The uh, mafia. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Josh and I went, and we brought a friend of ours, and she was just like, "Your father lost a lot of blood, but oh. we found most of it." <laughs> <laughs> I recently watched the Naked Gun trilogy again and, and Police Squad. It's so good. <laughs> Those are so funny. Oh, oh man. Yeah, man. Airplane was really like one of the first of its kind. Before we wrap it up, too, I have to mention mm -hmm. Otto. The autopilot. Oh my gosh, that they was keep, one of those. They keep jokes. relying on the autopilot, yeah. and it's just a blow-up doll that looks like a pilot. That oh, that's why he's grabs on. There, that's why he's auto. Yeah, auto, pilot. auto auto pilot. I get it. autopilot now i get it and, and, and <laughs> you can watch it again <laughs> i will tell you the one joke about when she's blowing up the the doll as she a has kid, to re-blow him up and i never got that yeah, joke yeah either. as a kid like i remember my dad just being like trying to turn me away from that scene I'm like what she, she's just blowing up the 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 the, the blow-up doll like what's what's the big deal and then after you know it's in a suggestive late, I'm like, location oh, I'm, yeah. like, I'm like oh okay uh, yeah, and, and then when they, he walks into the cockpit and sees her just blow on the door, like, oh, <laughs> he oh, turns boy. and walks back out. Like this, I mean, 1980. This was like outrageous. I don't think yeah. any comedies pushed it that far. No, they were. Then, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely a rated R movie back then. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Did they have... and now adult comedies are really common, so it's not. Yeah. A, it's not. A, it's no longer a big deal. Yeah, and then afterwards, you know, the the there's. One of the the auto is has a cigarette and she has a cigarette yeah. and they're just enjoying the moment. So that was, that's <laughs> there's so many expressions that that um, yeah like for uh, a character that's just a blow up doll. It has so much personality. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, good stuff. Good uh, well, stuff. One other line we can't forget about is uh, uh, surely you can't be serious. I am serious. 
and don't call me Shirley. <laughs> That's a classic Leslie Nielsen line. I yeah, it's so one good. One of his best. It's yeah. a different style of comedy mm -hmm. than is delivered in, in the contemporary films and the, mm -hmm. the pacing, the setups with just elaborate sets and props. Mm -hmm. Just one stupid yeah. joke for a split second. All right, cool. Thanks, guys. Yep. Um, Thanks for having yeah. us. Yeah. That was fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Right. And, uh, you know, keep an eye out for the thing we we we're doing with you other than yeah. this or don't whatever. may may have just came out actually mm. or it will be coming out soon we'll see yeah <laughs> <laughs>